Welcome to Trending Celebrities. ASAP Rocky subs Chris Brown over Rihanna assault on DMV. Please before we continue I will appreciate if you subscribe and hit notification bell so that you never miss out on any of our videos about your favorite celebrities. The R&B star Chris Brown brutally assaulted his ex-girlfriend Rihanna in 2009. Graphic photos of the assault were circulated online, painting a gruesome photograph of domestic violence and proving no one irrespective of status is exempt from a toxic relationship. Thirteen years later, Rihanna moved on with ASAP Rocky, and the couple have a son now. But Rocky hasn't forgotten about the brutality Rihanna experienced at the hands of her ex-boyfriend. In his latest single DMV, Does My Bitch, he makes a subtle reference to Brown, rapping, I don't beat my bitch, I need my bitch. Chris Brown went into graphic detail about the night he beat Rihanna in 2017 as part of a documentary documentary titled Chris Brown. Welcome to my life. After meeting Rihanna when he was just 15 years old backstage at a New York concert, he stated their relationship soon blossomed into a fairy tale. But the fairy tale ended when Brown confessed he'd had sex with a particular woman before they were together, losing Rihanna's trust. Brown stated, from there it went downhill. On February 8, 2009, he says a fight between the couple broke out in his Lamborghini after she went through his text messages and found a message from someone he was involved with in the past. Brown claimed the Barbados-born singer stated she hated him and began to hit him. I remember she tried to kick me, but then I really hit her with a closed fist, like I punched her, Brown stated. I busted her lip. When I saw it, I was in shock. I was like, fuck, why the hell did I hit her? From there, she just spit in my face, like spit blood in my face, and it enraged me even more. It was a real on fight in the car. Rihanna has long forgiven Brown for the assault. In 2020, Oprah Winfrey decided to re-release a 2012 interview with Rihanna for an episode of Oprah Winfrey's Super Soul Conversations podcast in which Rihanna opened up about their special bond. We've been working on our friendship again, she stated. Now we're very, very close friends. We've built up a trust again, and that's we love each other, and we probably always will. And that's not something we're ever going to change. That's not something you can close off if you've ever been in love. She added, I think he was the love of my life. He was the first love. And I see that he cherished me the same way it's not even about us being together. I truly love him. So the main aspect for me is that he's at peace. I'm not at peace if he's a little unhappy or he's still lonely. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. And please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any updates about your favorite celebrities.